Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm doing a pretty huge haul. I don't think I've done a beauty haul this big for years, but Sephora had their sale. So I picked up some skincare that I needed to replenish in my collection. I picked up a whole bunch of rare beauty products and I also purchased some stuff off Shoppers Drug Mart which is like a Canadian Ulta, I guess, maybe smaller than an Ulta, but it's like a Canadian drugstore. And they ended up giving me this like huge bag of free stuff. So they had like some promo going on. So I figured I would just show you guys all of that. It's gonna be a big haul, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna go through all the Sephora stuff first. I purchased this Kiehl's Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum. This says it is clinically tested to steadily promote skin revitalization, visibly improve firmness, reduce the look of wrinkles, refine texture, while minimizing discomforting effects, including redness, peeling, due to dry skin. I've never tried a retinol serum before, so I really wanted to add one of these to my collection because I feel like it's missing and I'm turning 30 this year, I'm aging and I really want to prevent aging as much as I possibly can. So I wanted to add retinol into my routine. Now that I've done this haul, I'll probably just put it into my bathroom and start using it. But if you've tried this product, let me know how it's worked for you. Let me know if you like it. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. And then I also repurchased these Sunday Riley CEO 15% vitamin C brightening serum. So I got the pack of two because they had like a special, which was like a value pack and you got two of them for cheaper than you would and for more product. So I, I just bought the pack of two. This is such a good serum. I love it so much. I wear it every single day. I'm almost done my first bottle of it. This is a smaller size. So I got, I currently have like the 50 milliliter one. This comes in 30 milliliters, but because there was like two of them, you get 60 milliliters and it's cheaper. So that's why I purchased it. But I love this product. I feel like it really helps my skin feel rejuvenated, it makes my skin look more glowy and healthy, and I just really enjoy it. Sephora kind of messed up, and they actually sent me this, which I'm pretty sure I got somebody else's order. It's the Shiseido White Lucent Brightening Gel Cream. Um, it's just a moisturizer, I think. Uh, it says that it you apply it morning and night after cleanser. It says it intens intensively brightens, diminishes the looks of dark spots, unevenness, moisturizers, and smooth fine lines. So anyway, yeah, I got this for free. It's kind of like a bonus, not something that I wanted or needed. Although come to think of it, I'm out of my CeraVe nighttime moisturizer, like almost. So it's actually perfect timing that I got this for free. I felt bad keeping it, but at the same time, I spent a lot of money. So <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I got this. If I don't like it, I'm just gonna give it to my sister. And then the last thing I got in this Sephora haul is this Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. I am going to Vancouver Island at the end of April and I always like to have a perfume that I will remember my big little, even if they're small vacations, like if I remember my trips by, I like to have a perfume. So I thought this Jo Malone, like just this mini size of it would be perfect for the island since we're gonna be like seaside, lots of waves, nothing in front of us, just rugged seaside terrain. I thought wood sage and sea salt would be perfect. It smells really nice. And the other two things that I haven't purchased from Sephora, but I do need to because I'm running low, I need to repurchase my Super Goop SPF. I get the glow screen. SPF 40 I think it is and I also need to purchase an oil for nighttime because I don't have one that I wear before bed So I'm thinking about purchasing an oil before the end of the sale. That's it. That is my like skincare Purchased I'm good with skincare probably for the next year So then the rest of the stuff in here is all the rare beauty stuff So I just filmed this video. I'm wearing all rare beauty on my face right now But I wanted to show you guys in a haul everything that I purchased so I got there always an opt optimist Illuminating primer which I would kind of regret buying a primer because I really don't need an illuminating primer But I got it anyway. I got their positive light tinted moisturizer in the shade 22w which off initial application. I really liked it. It looked it looked super natural on the skin um, The color wasn't too bad on me either. I feel like it I feel like it's almost like a perfect match for my skin right now, which is good 
Probably won't work in the summer, obviously. Picked up their Liquid Touch Bright Amine Concealer in the shade 170W. I would recommend going a little bit darker because this was, I thought looked fine online and I have kind of like an olive light to medium complexion, but this is very light. Like the shade 170W is super light. So you probably wanna go a little bit darker unless you are specifically using this to brighten up your complexion. If you're using it to cover stuff, like throw anywhere on your face, probably try to get closer to your actual skin color. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. I wasn't like overly impressed by the concealer so far. I don't tend to be though. I kind of mentioned it in the Rare Beauty video that I just filmed. I don't tend to be super impressed by concealers very often. I got their Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick in the shade Bright Side, which I actually surprisingly really like. Um, at least so far, like upon application, I really liked it. The shade Bright Side is, is a cool toned brown and it's not super dark, so it's very subtle and it's perfect if you just want to kind of contour your skin but not really bronze it up. Um, I'm impressed with it so far, like I'm impressed by the application of it. I just wasn't super excited about this product. I just got it because I wanted a full face of Rare Beauty, but I actually ended up really liking it when I applied it, so we'll see how it wears throughout the day and if my opinion changes. I got their Soft Pinch Liquid Blush, Dewy Liquid Blush in the shade Happy. This is such a beautiful, like, cool toned pink. I applied way too much product, like a little goes a super long way, and you can, I can still feel like my face is pretty blushed up. But it looks super nice on the skin, really fresh and dewy, and I think it's gonna be beautiful for spring. So I'm really happy with the shade Happy. And I got their Positive Light Liquid Illuminizer, or liquid luminizer in the shade Enlighten. I kind of mentioned it in the Rare Beauty video. I'm not very into highlighters these days, but I actually didn't mind this product. I feel like it gave me a very subtle dewy finish, like a dewy glow. It's not glittery, it's not overpowering, it just kind of looks like my skin is wet almost. The only thing I would say is that I wish this was smaller. Like I wish they gave less of this product and made it cheaper. Like why can't it be the same size as like the blush, you know? It's like a bit bulky and big and you wear such a little amount of highlighter. I don't know. That's just like me nitpicking. And then I got their Stay Vulnerable Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Nearly Neutral. This was another product, kind of like the bronzer, I wasn't very excited about trying. I just bought it because I wanted something for the eye area, but I'm actually very impressed by this. It's on my lids right now. It looks, so, it applied so nicely. It was so easy to blend out. Like not like other liquid eyeshadows that I've tried before, like this blended out so, so easily. I'm not wearing a primer on my lids, so we'll see how it lasts throughout the night and into the evening. Um, I'll see if it creases, if it stays put, if it lives up to my initial impressions, but I was really happy with this product. And then I got two lip products, one I'm wearing on my lips right now, which is their Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Hope. It's just kind of like a pinky nude shade. I really like this product so far. I've worn it a couple times now. It's comfortable, it didn't dry my lips at all. The only thing I would say is that it's not very glossy for an oil. I'm used to like glossier oils, so that was my only like thing about it. And then I got their Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream in the shade Courage, which I haven't worn for a full day yet, so I'll have to report back on how it feels and wears throughout the day, but I have tried it on and I really like the shade Courage. It's very neutral, just kind of a, almost like a boring nude shade, but I really did like it and it felt good on the lips when I first applied it. That's all of the Rare Beauty stuff that I got um, and that's pretty much everything from Sephora that I picked up. So yeah, lots of stuff. Very excited about most of it. Moving on to shoppers stuff. Um, so the reason why I purchased something off shoppers in the first place, place was because I wanted to pick up a new perfume for spring and summer. I've, I really like perfume. And like I said, I like to wear different ones when I go places or I'm traveling. But the perfume that I've basically been wearing every day since September, and it's become like my signature all season perfume, I seriously wear it every day, is the Lancome Le Vie Belle perfume. This is the 50 milliliter size and like I said I've been wearing it for basically half a year and it's half gone. I seriously love it. It's so nice. It smells so sweet but not overpowering and I just really enjoy it. But the thing is I feel like this is a fall winter perfume for me and I wanted something fresher and less sweet for the summer so or the spring and the summer. So 
The perfume that I picked up was Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, and I got it from Shoppers because I don't think you can actually purchase Chanel on Sephora, at least not from what I could see. So I picked up the 50 milliliter bottle of Coco Mademoiselle, and I love it so far. It's just what I was looking for for the spring and the summer. Like, it's fresh smelling. It is sweet, but it smells more, I don't know, it smells... It's kind of got like an amber, orangey scent to it. I really like it. It also smells very ladylike. Like, I feel like Livia Belle is sweet and kind of girly, whereas I feel like Coco Mademoiselle is more, like, young lady, sophisticated. I don't know. That's just how the feeling I get from it. But I've already been wearing this one since I picked it up, and I love it. So I know I'm going to be wearing it spring and summer. It's going to be, like, my spring-summer signature scent, and this is my fall-winter signature scent. All right, so moving on to the free stuff that I got in this cute little bag from Shoppers. It was a really good promotion. Actually, I gave away like four of the stuff already. There was like a couple moisturizers that were more like men moisturizers, and there was a deodorant spray. So I've already given away four things, but it was a huge bag of free stuff. Let's see. The first thing, they gave me a couple hand creams. So I got this Camel hand cream, which says it soothes and protects. I actually really like the bottle of this or the little container, I guess. I've already used it as well. It's just like a hand cream. Um, but I'm gonna save this container after. And then they also gave me this Dove Body Love Intense Care hand cream, which I haven't used yet, but it's like a full-size product. So really excited about that. There's so much in here, I don't even know. I haven't even really fully looked through it all. But I got this Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion in the scent Coconut, so nice little travel friendly lotion. They included this repair bond leave-in treatment from Mark Anthony. Uh, I guess it's for hair. I don't know. I might use it. I don't know. They gave me this Eucerin, Eucerin body cream, urea repair body cream, um, which will be good because my skin is dry. As you guys know, I have psoriasis in certain areas, so I feel like this could actually help with it. It's meant for dry skin. So I will definitely be trying that out. They gave me this little sample Physician's Formula Butter Blowout Mascara. I haven't been wearing mascara lately because I keep wearing these false lashes. But once I get back into mascara, I will be saving that. They also, oh, actually this came from Sephora. This is the Dior mascara as well. So I'll just add it to my like travel mascara collection. I have a bunch of these little samples of mascara, so I just keep piling them up. I have the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. They gave me so many moisturizing creams. So this is meant to apply all over body or face. So again, just a little sample. They included this Pixie Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. I already have a toner. I use the Kiehl's one, but I guess it doesn't hurt to have another little toner to use. And then they gave me this Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. So there is a fruit fly in here and it's bothering me. It's a little sample size, but no harm in trying that. Then they also gave me this Dove spray, deodorant spray. So it's a full size product. Again, pretty good. I thought for like purchasing one thing, like that perfume, I got all these free products plus more that I gave away already. They also just gave these little sample things. So I think one of these is from Sephora. I probably won't use these, the Tatcha Silk Serum sample. Uh, this Tom Ford matte primer. Yeah, I probably just, I just kind of throw these away, honestly. I don't really use them. I gave these vegan, or Pacifica vegan ceramide under eye and smile line jelly patches. And then I got some Marcel retinol serum and this Nivea anti-wrinkle night repair. That is everything that came in that little pouch. So I thought that was a pretty good, decent size haul for what it was. So anyway, that is everything that completes this video. That's everything I picked up recently. Let me know what you guys are picking up in the Sephora sale. Also, I'm kind of into like trying brands now, like full face brand, full face of like a certain brand. So let me know if there's any brands in particular that you want me to try. If you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one.